What's up, y'all? Football season is back and the Cowboys look dominant. And there are many ways to watch our beloved Dallas Cowboys. But the best way to watch our Cowboys is live and in person. And the best way to get tickets to those games is on Game Time, the fastest growing ticket app in the U.S. For last minute amazing deals on tickets, see your favorite football team this September. Download Game Time. And it's not just football. Game Time has tickets to baseball games, concerts, and comedy shows all around the country. Download the Game Time app and redeem code VOTCH for $20 off your first purchase. Turn apply again download game time app and enter the code vach that's v-o-c-h vach for twenty dollars off no matter where you live get out and have some fun this week download the game time app today last minute tickets lowest price guaranteed and we back with another film session today we're looking at the offense if you want to uh, take a look at more film we're looking at the offensive line and the patreon that's patreon.com slash vach lombardi for offensive line breakdown and i'll give my grades um there were some people that are talking about how the offense was made easy for Dak prescott i just wanted to break that down a little bit um people called it dink and dunky well i think dink and dunk has a weird little connotation associated with it plus i'm going to show you some of the big plays that we made and why we we're able to make them Mike McCarthy and then were in their bag, right? Now, surface level, what does this play look like? Hey, this is technically an easy play for a deck, but there are still reads here and there's still depth to these reads here. Now, outside looking in, this just looks like a um, a, a play action to Tony Pollard and a throw to Luke Schoonmaker, right? Uh, you know, if you didn't have your film glasses on and your thinking cap, then you would just call it that. But a couple of things happen here. And I think the most important part is uh, Hunter Lipke and Jake Ferguson at the left tight end spot right here. We're gonna be keeping eyes on the middle of the um, the uh, middle of the end zone right now, right? We're, we're focused on these two linebackers and how much space are they gonna occupy in the middle of the end zone? So we're gonna fake the ball to Tony Pollard, cool. Now, this is the first read. And you even see Dak looking over there to Hunter Lipke. If these linebackers are late, if these linebackers don't pursue Hunter Lipke, if they go the opposite direction, then we just throw the ball to Hunter Lipke. Easy peasy, just, that should just be a touchdown right there, right? But we're gonna fake the ball to Tony. Dak is gonna look at Hunter Lipke and they're going to react and bite hard to the idea that we could be throwing the ball to Hunter Lipke. But what that does is, let me give you a quick refresh here. What that does is that it leaves so much space in the middle of the end zone, just like we thought, right? Now, let's go back and take a look at Jake Ferguson. He's the left tight end on the line here. Now, Jake Ferguson is going to be our spacing guy, possibly pick guy. And once we get this little cross right here, now, instead of this being a left right, read like it kind of was at first this turns into a high low read right or, or or a low high read so luke schoonmaker being the low guy and just in case luke schoonmaker ain't there you see peyton hendershot just in case to kind of seal this up now watch how do you know this is going to work well like i said this started off as a left right read so depending on what leverage these linebackers are. If the linebackers would have read something different and they would work to our left on the screen here, then there's no way Hunter Lipke wouldn't be wide ass open on the way to the end zone, right? But the defense is going to work to our right, to the right side of the screen, their left. That means we got the whole our left side of the field to navigate. And that's what this read is. Fantastic, uh, fantastic concept. Couldn't have been drawn up any better than this. And if anything, I'll just say just another fail safe. If anything crazy would have happened to Luke Schoonmaker, if he'd have got covered up, if he'd have fell down, if uh, he wasn't able to get off the block or something like that, then Peyton Hendershot would be wide open right behind him. Fantastic play. Now we talked about this in the off season. There should there should never be a time where CD Lamb doesn't get double digit targets, right? Uh, just just he's he's one of your best players on offense. Like there's just no way he's he's wide receiver one, and there's just no way he should just come out of a game with five targets or six or seven targets, right? When you target CD Lamb, double digits, fantastic things are gonna happen for you. I can see us using CD Lamb as a Cooper Cup type guy for us, right? And you see what happens when you target him double digits. He get double digit catches and he gets into the one. Uh, like 130s, 140s, I believe, 147 um, in receiving. And look, this is just an easy way to get CD Lamb the ball. Now, look, Huff should have known better. There's no way CD Lamb is going to just come in here and just crack versus Huff. But hey, this is normally something that we run with tight ends, right? How many times have we seen a tight end? They're normally in line, but CD is going to be at wide receiver here. Slot. Uh, how many times have we seen a tight end kind of crash down on a um, on a um, DN defender linebacker or whatever, and they think that they're getting upfield and whooping us? and we just kind of hey back door catch the ball and turn it into yak guy right this isn't super complex of a play but it it, it shows me that the, the cowboys are conscious that if you get cd lamb the ball multiple times that good things will happen to you 
chat This is the West Coast offense uh, Take a look at CD Lamb up top I'm going to run it Then we're going to come back And talk about it This is the West Coast offense And teams know that We're going to run Many principles of the West Coast offense There's a lot of slants In the West Coast offense So if there's going to be Slants in the West Coast offense There's going to be Sluggos in the West Coast offense Oh my god and, and then look Hey look Shouts out to CD, CD Lamb On the route here Fake the slant Boom uh, Using a little bit of hands A little bit of physicality Top of the route Get your hands off me He's gonna work to the outside But this is a dime From Dak Prescott A dot From Dak Prescott And look This is basically Cover two principles Right Basically cover two principles If this if this cornerback is either in man Or he's going to be working flats And then you just got a high safety over here Then your job is to throw the ball Behind the corner and to the outside Away from the safety So Dak has to fit this in far enough left That the safety's not there And far enough outside that the cornerback is out of play Don't get no better than that man Let's watch this thing one more time From the cartel view Just to get a good look at it Cool, line up, play your zone I have no problems with y'all playing zone Dak Prescott is a fantastic quarterback Versus zone coverage, we'll beat the shit out y'all all day Playing zone, y'all gonna run some uh, Cover three here, fine, CD Lamb is gonna Clear this uh, this uh, cornerback Go up and get the football, what do I mean by Clear, he's gonna first work up The field, and once he gets past, right That's what I mean by clear, once he gets past Number 30, then he's gonna start to leverage this Thing inside a little bit and look for Dak Prescott And the ball should be coming right there right up the seams there now 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 listen man there's another thing to this right and we'll have this conversation on on uh volume whenever you're watching it i care nothing that sauce gardner felt like that most of cd's catches weren't on him well if you sauce gardner you one of the best cornerbacks in the league and you don't want your team getting whooped by cd lamb then you need to travel sir and if you're not going to travel then the dallas cowboys are going to play a fantastic game of find the scrub you understand good luck to you now, just like the previous play, pardon me, let's just run it. We'll take a look at the play, then we'll come back and talk about it. Y'all hate when I just start getting into the goodness and don't even show you the play. All right, cool. Just like the first play that I showed you, right? There's an easy throw. There's an obvious throw, but there's always something just lingering in the back end of the play, right? So first and foremost, I think Mike McCarthy and Brian Schottenheimer want to get Deuce Vaughn going in the passing game real bad. Like they really want to get Deuce Vaughn going. Um, as a running back, sure, like we we saw him have some you know some runs or whatever. But I think Deuce Vaughn in the passing game is re that they really want to get that Darren Sproles, Ty Montgomery thing going with Deuce Vaughn. Now, if you take a look at Deuce Vaughn, he's gonna run this wheel right wheel route, get his ass to the outside, and before you know it, he he's beating up on somebody's linebacker. But pressure got there. We uh we uh, didn't really get a uh, chance to get that going. But I want y'all to take a look at what happened with Cavante Turpin. Cavante Turpin was the one that caught the pass, right? But he only caught the pass because take a look at at C D Lamb and and Jalen Tolbert up up top right here. Look at CeeDee Lamb and Jalen Tolbert up top right here. Look, they have nothing to do with the main scheme of the play. Now, I'm not saying if this was old boys offense, right? Because he coached a whole nother team right now. But there were a lot of times where I was watching film where there'll be a read, then like a secondary read. But the dudes that are far away from the play that ain't got nothing to do with the play, they just sitting up chilling, just watching the play. That doesn't really happen here because if Deuce Vaughn is not getting the ball, there's going to be a pick route up top. We're going to we're going to deal with the linebacker here, 57. We're going to deal with uh, number one. We're going to deal with number zero. And you just kind of see Kevontae Turpin working off that rub there. And he gets the wide open catch for the for the uh, third down here. That's this offense working in tandem. Let's watch it in cartel view just to get eyes on it. That's this offense working in tandem, right? It's not just first read second read it's hey this first read is here if you want it but there's something going on right take a look at cd and um and uh tober setting up the pick right here there's something going on that makes this second read just as important and just in case that first read's not there we're still going to keep the offense safe we're still going to keep the quarterback comfortable and give him another wide open throw Fantastic business right here. Hey, man, appreciate y'all for tuning in. I uh, wanted to just do a little bit of film here. This is the highlight of film. We're going to take a look at the offensive line, see how everybody did in the Patreon. Be sure to tap into the Patreon. And uh, for everybody that knows the rules to uh, Zach Golston's jersey giveaway, go ahead and do that. And um, we'll go ahead and get that uh, shipped out to you if you know the rules. All right? Y'all hold down for the dose. Get some peace and whiskey. Till next time. Salute.